This tutorial explains how to create a basic Gantt chart uh, using a bar chart in Excel. Now, I've already typed in uh, some of my data. Uh, I've just got a series of tasks, start date, duration of task, and then the finish date. So um, I'm going to create a chart from this data. I'm going to click anywhere in any cell within this table, and then I'm pressing the F11 key on my keyboard. F11 is the shortcut for creating a chart in Excel. So I end up um, with the default column chart. And the first job to do is to change my chart to a bar chart. So I'm going to go up to a change chart type on my ribbon. And I'm going to change it to a stacked bar chart. Right at the moment, um, I'm showing start date and finish date. Uh, duration isn't currently showing, but if I go up to um, select data, my next job is to delete finish date column. And then I can start to see my duration now. The duration series is actually uh, the graphic that I'm going to be using uh, to represent my tasks. So I'm actually going to uh, hide the start date series bars. Now to do that I'm just going to select one of them and then I'm going to go up to format my ribbon uh, shape fill I'm going to set as no fill and then shape outline I'm going to set as no outline so now I can see my bars which represent my tasks now normally on a Gantt chart you have the dates at the top of the uh, Gantt chart so in order to do that I'm just going to reverse uh, the order on this axis. So I'm just going to double click on the task names down the side there and I'm going to select categories in reverse order. Click on close and now I've got my dates at the top. Uh, one thing I will need to do is set uh, the first date. Again, chart, I've got a bit of space here. I'll just go back to sheet one, I can see the first date, the first task. Uh, my project is the 1st of February 2011. Let's go back to my chart. I'm going to double click on these dates. And I'm just going to set the minimum fixed date. 1st of the 2nd, 2011. I'll close. And then you can see uh, that my dates match with my data. Uh, I don't really need this down here. My legend, so I can delete that. And then we have uh, a nice Gantt chart. Okay, thank you very much. Hopefully that was useful.